in the category of you're not going to believe this shit, I want to talk to you about the event that happened at this individual Jordan Willis's party uh, last week at a home he ran at, I think, in Kansas City, where three of his friends ended up dying in the backyard and being left for several days until one of those people who had deceased, one of his fiance, busted in the fucking house because no, because Jordan wasn't answering the door and found her fiance's dead body lying in the backyard like so much fucking garbage. And the fact that nobody, nobody is raising an eyebrow at what happened. I think I know why. Dude was a leading researcher from Moderna working with mRNA technology. I shit you not. <laughs> I've told you before what I think mRNA tech is, why they did the whole thing, why they're pushing the mRNA tech. It's the new age. It's the gold rush. Uh, we can use it for everything. We can fix everything by fucking genetically modifying and editing the human fucking genome. <laughs> and this is why they are all about this. And this is where all this fucking money is going to. But I tell you right now what I think the end result is, what they really want, is they're looking for the fountain of youth. They're looking for epigenetic reprogramming of aging through mRNA technology. And the more, of, the more experiments they get jabbed into people's arms via whatever means, RSV, Moderna has an RSV fucking uh, uh, mRNA fucking jab too, by the way. <laughs> the more jabs they can get in people's arms with this stuff, the more, the faster they learn, the closer they get. This dude, Jordan Willis, was is in that fucking industry, is in that industry, was in that industry. And is he being protected because of that? <laughs> Let's talk about what happened first. Um, turns out there was a playoff game, Kansas City. He ends up um, renting a house and throwing a big party. <laughs> <clears throat> People keep coming by the door looking for their friends and their loved ones who never came back from the party. There's a big six-foot fucking fence around the backyard. A lot of snow very cold and uh, nobody answers the door banging 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 nobody answers the door turns out i just explained to you how their bodies were found somebody broke in and there they were at first uh the guy who rented the uh hotel the the, the house and uh hosted the party was a guy by the name of jordan willis he is an HIV scientist. That's as far as they go talking about this. I'll go further. But he is an HIV scientist. His, I, I got to get off of this because there's so many ads. His lawyer, when this first happened, his lawyer came out and was addressing everything. He addressed questions like, this. he, he didn't go in the backyard for two days. <clears throat> and the lawyer said, well, he doesn't use the backyard. And he just goes out, the, he went out the front door. And, and what about the dogs? Didn't he have dogs? Didn't they go out the back? Oh, he lets them go out in the front. That was the lawyer's first fucking take. Now the take is he was passed out the entire time on his own couch for two whole fucking days. Um, so the, the story is changing. The story is modifying. Jordan Willis obviously got out of the fucking house has disappeared, uh, scrubbed the interwebs of as much of his presence as he possibly could. Um, he's gone into hiding. He's gone fucking radio silent. Um, there's something terribly wrong with the story. And I, I, before we get into the Moderna stuff, which is fucking fascinating, which I believe explains why he's given a pass. Certain people working on certain projects are given a pass. They're given a do not fuck with this guy card. You know, when they, 
when they scan your fucking plates and they go, hey, this guy's weaving a little bit. Oh, wait a minute, what's that? There's a little box sometimes. A little X that's checked. You can absolutely help it. You don't fuck with that individual. And that exists. And I believe Jordan Willis has that box checked. We'll talk about that in a second. But I just for first want to address the three gentlemen uh, who died. Um, whatever they were doing, they certainly didn't deserve to die. But I'll tell you this. Now, I, I don't ever talk about this. It's not, this is not about me. This is never about, this, this website is not about me. My, my work is not about me and my life or my mistakes or my experience. I'll tell you this. I've done a lot of a variety of different, I don't say a lot of all of them. I've done, I've done a variety of different fucking uh, illicit uh, drugs o over the years and uh, decades. Uh, but um, that's a past life. But I've done a number of them. Um, to have three late 30s adults all pass out simultaneously in the freezing cold because of doing a, a substance. Let's let's assume. Let's listen. It had to be a fucking some kind of OD. That's beyond question. If they all went there out there at the same time, and of course the toxicology will be dragged out slowly but surely. Again, protecting this guy who works with Moderna on their glorious mRNA fucking uh, fountain of youth uh, research. But I've done a number of them over the course of my life. I'll tell you right now, to have three people go out simultaneously, especially if you had three 12-year-olds and they're smoking some of this fucking new fucking weed super powerful weed. Yeah, you can expect three 12 year olds who've got probably the same fucking resistance to it or exposure to it over the course of their 12 years in life. Uh, so they can expect them all to like, uh, nap out or whatever the fuck it is they do. I'm not suggesting they do that, but I'm just saying. Well, they all three eat edibles or some shit they get from mom and data. Data. But to have three fucking 35 year old, 36 year old, 38 year old fucking grown people who have drugs, narcotics are, are, are accumulative. I mean, it's the effects vary depending on <laughs> your previous exposure to them. To have three people with vastly different, I'm sure, vastly different fucking levels of exposure to whatever the fuck it was, go out simultaneously, there had to be something. Um, it had to be something way off the fucking charts. Something laced with a fentanyl, something along those lines. Uh, food poisoning wouldn't do it. It couldn't have been bad chicken or, you know, as Monty Python, Python would say, the salmon moose. It had to be something in the narcotics family. And it had to have been something way over the top for that to happen, for all three guys to go out pretty much simultaneously. Whatever it was, again, there's no fucking, no one's judging here. I've done my own fucking share of this stuff. That's why I, I told you that. I have my own experience with it. There's no judging here at all. These individuals, these young men, compared to me, certainly did not deserve, deserve to go out this way. But that's probably what we're looking at could be something more nefarious, but that would be fucking ridiculous. I'll whack them all and toss them in my backyard and nobody will ever find them. Give me a break. Um, and of course, food poisoning wouldn't have that same result. Not just those three guys, unless they brought their own fucking bad chicken wings or salmon moose. We have to assume that that's what happened. Now, here's the thing. The news story that he was out for two days on his couch might suggest that he did it with them and he was the only one who got back in the house when he started feeling 
a certain way or it started to kick in, whereas they did not. Or maybe he made it back in the house and he was so whacked out, he closed the door and locked it behind him and they just died. We don't know where they were in the backyard. Were they banging on the fucking sliding glass door? Is that where they found them? Where were they in the backyard? That uh, is important. <laughs> it could explain why he survived and they didn't. I'll tell you what it does explain, though. It does explain the two days. He didn't stay out for two days. Listen, unless you are a fucking messed out motherfucker um, and you are up on a binge like that guy from, uh, from Salt and Sea with no nose and you are on a binge, on a binge for a fucking week and a half, you're not going to sleep for two days. No fucking recovery from uh, um, recreational use of anything is going to keep you out for two days. Why he claims he was out for two days, why his lawyer lied and then changed the story and now there's a different story is very obvious. He panicked when he realized his friends were dead out in the backyard. And when he panicked, he understood that whatever killed them is also inside him. And so he wanted as much fucking time to work it out of his system. That's what he was doing. It is a horrible fucking tragedy for, for, for the families. But what makes it worse for the families, and they've been saying this, is the fact that the mainstream media and the fucking police, they're all like, oh, well, they're dead. Oh, well, he kept them in the backyard for two days. Clearly, while something was working out of his system, uh, he could, if it turns out, <laughs> they'll find because they were frozen. They'll find what it was that killed them. Then the question is, how did those three guys get it at this dude's party? Who provided it? Now, if he can get it out of his system, he can go, well, I don't know. So you know he's drinking all that fucking detox shit for the last fucking two days. <laughs> he probably would have gone a third day because it usually takes, you know, some time. He probably would have gone a third day, but someone kicked in the fucking door. Okay? But if they could find the same fucking shit in him that they found in them, then he partook, he partook of it with them. Ergo, he can't sit back and say, I have no idea where they got it. Now he's got to fucking come up with a goddamn story. You see what I'm saying? That's what his legal team is trying to fucking do. That's apparently what the fucking police uh, are trying to give him time to do. I don't know if they've taken a fucking blood sample from him. They should have immediately that fucking day when someone kicked in the fucking door and found him in his underwear with a fucking empty glass of wine pretending like he'd just been on wine the whole time. Yeah, right. Um, it's an awful situation. But what makes it even worse is the fact that the institutions, like, say, the police and the media, who should be automatically drawn to this story and say, okay, well, we're not going to give this guy a pass. <laughs> Apparently, they're giving this guy a pass. So I'm looking into it. I'm trying to figure out why are they giving this guy a pass. Come to find out... Um, He works with something called the, uh, he works at the Shift Lab, uh, Scripps Research slash IAVI Neutralizing Antibody Center. He's working on something for HIV vaccines. He's looking for somehow targeting germline, germline targeting uh, technology. Uh, and, and, and why that's so important to HIV science. But also, according to him, if you read this article, you scroll down, way down here, he mentions something about Moderna at the very end of it. He said, especially now with the addition of Moderna's mRNA technology, 
All these ideas are coming together with new tech and we're getting somewhere. It's so exciting to be a part of it. These are his dogs that were apparently there. They didn't go out in the backyard if you ask if you ask him. Nope. He never realized they were back there. So he mentions MR, he mentions Moderna. And I was like, Moderna. Then I found this paper that he wrote. He was part of. Jordan R. Willis. Membrane-bound mRNA uh, immunogens lower the threshold to activate his HIV ENV V2 apex directed broadly neutralizing B cell precursors in human mice. He's doing mRNA technology research. Membrane-bound mRNA LPN immunization lowers the activation activity threshold. This is what he's doing. He's part of this <laughs> very small but growing community of folks trying to very taking advantage of the very exciting time to be looking into genetic fucking manipulation, rewriting the codes of your fucking DNA, of your genome to fix this, quote-unquote, fix that, quote-unquote, stop aging, possibly. He's part of this. Why did I highlight this for you? I am a senior principal scientist and work on data science, deep learning, synthetic biology. I work with the Schiff Lab, Schiff Lab, Schiff Lab at Scripps Research, IAVI Neutralizing Antibody Center. to apply data science, software development, and immunogen and engineering to the germline targeting problem with HIV vaccine development. He's working with mRNA tech. What else did I find? This is from Moderna. IAVI and Moderna launch trial of HIV vaccine antigens delivered through mRNA technology. The HIV vaccine antigens being evaluated as mRNA, mRNA in this study were originally developed as proteins by William Schieff, PhD, professor at Scripps Research and executive director of vaccine design at IAVA, v IAVI Neutralizing Antibody Center, NAC. This dude is working in collaboration with Defense Threat Reduction Agency's Moderna on their fucking mRNA goddamn platform. And not only is he working with them, according to this, he's a lead scientist. According to this, he's a fucking lead scientist. So he gets a pass. He gets a pass. <laughs> and this man, and this man, and this man don't fucking matter. They don't matter. Someone once said, um, you can tell a lot about a society by uh, the people you can't touch. And this guy's apparently an untouchable. He is allowed to rush off and uh, scrub the interwebs of his fucking presence. Why would you do that? <laughs> if you're not at fault, if you're just a mistake, why would you do that? Why would you try to scrub up social media of your fucking presence? It was his party. Did he provide the fucking narcotics? Uh, did he take some with the same guy, with those guys out in the backyard and then make it to the fucking back door and close the sliding door, glass door behind him and just forget about his trip, his, his friends tripping balls and dying out there while he laid in the fucking warm fucking confines of his couch and woke up the next morning and found him dead? Probably. 
Yeah. In all likelihood, sure. Will Jordan Willis end up suing me like someone did from for four years? I'm probably sure. Yeah. State Department helped that guy out. Mo Dunn and Defense Threat Reduction Agency might help out Mr. Willis. But in all likelihood, you know, if there was any kind of fucking justice in this world that we live in now, where big business gets away with anything, if there was any kind of justice, they would have taken his blood sample immediately. Um, because that's the only way you're going to be able to figure out whether or not really where it came from. Because if whatever killed them is in his system, then he knows. And that also explains the two fucking days. I'm sure he was trying for more, but that explains the two fucking days. He wouldn't answer that door. No matter how many people knocked on it, no matter how many, no matter how many times people called him, he wasn't answering the phone, he wasn't not answering, opening that door because he knew it was in the backyard and he knew it was in his system. Now, there's a lot of people, I'm sure, working with Moderna across the fucking country. <laughs> I don't know if they all get a pass. I don't know if that is actually why. Maybe it's just, maybe it's just uh, incompetence. Maybe that's the whole thing. Maybe it's incompetence like the incompetence of our intelligence, our intelligence failures that led to 9-11. Sure. Um, if you want to buy that, I don't. You know, if I had three dead bodies in my backyard and I was ignoring everybody for the fucking two days while I tried to figure out a story or fucking slamming fucking whatever detoxes I can get my hands on for two days, uh, I, I'd be in jail. This guy's not. I certainly would have my blood taken to see what was in it. This guy is apparently not. And his... The family members of those three guys who died, they deserve answers. And they deserve better answers than, well, he's doing some important research on mRNA from Moderna and the Defense Threat Reduction Agency, so you can go fuck off. They deserve a lot better than that. Thank you for your time.